Let's talk about how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number without using long division. 11 over 4, we can write that as 8 over 4 plus 3 over 4. 8 plus 3 is 11, and 8 is the highest multiple of 4, just under 11. Now, 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 2 plus 3 fourths, we can write that as 2 and 3 fourths. So that's how you can convert an improper fraction to a mixed number without using long division. Now what about 17 over 5? We could break down 17 into 15 plus 2. The denominator must be the same. So 15 over 5 plus 2 over 5 is 17 over 5. Now 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 3 plus 2 fifths is 3 and 2 fifths. Now, let's try some harder examples with bigger numbers. Feel free to try this one, 53 over 6. Now, you might be wondering, what two numbers should I break down 53 into? What you want to do is find the highest multiple of 6, just under 53. So if you're not sure, you could list out the multiples of 6. You really don't need to go past 10. If you get the first nine, you'll have everything that you need typically, in most cases. Now, the highest multiple of six just under 53 is 48. So I'm going to break down 53 into 48 plus 5. The missing number 5, you can get it by subtracting 53 by 48. It'll give you 5. The denominator must be the same. Now, 48 divided by 6 is 8. And 8 plus 5 over 6, as a mixed number, we can write that as 8 and 5, 6. Let's try one more example. 45 over 7. So what two numbers should we break down 45 to? Let's write out the multiples of 7. So notice that the highest multiple of 7, just under 45, is 42. And 45 minus 42 is 3. So I'm going to break down 45 over 7 into 42 over 7 plus 3 over 7. 42 divided by 7 is 6, as we can see here. So we have 6 plus 3 sevenths. So as a mixed number, that's going to be 6 and 3 sevenths. And you could check your work. To convert the mixed number back into an improper fraction, keep the denominator the same. Multiply 6 and 7, which is 42 plus 3. That's 45.